Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. Sorry for not posting the tutorial last week. I have been busy in shifting to a new studio. It's small but yeah, I can afford it. And this time, I am back with a bang. So today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects, and create a new composition. Let's call it Glitch Logo Animation. As always I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 30 frames per second. You are free to choose your own settings. Let's create a new solid. We will be using it for the background. I am using a dark color but not the black color exactly. Perfect. Let's import our logo first. Add this into your project. And place it above the background. Let's animate this, go to around 3 seconds. Press S to open scale, and add a keyframe on it. Switch back to the first frame, and change the scale value to a higher value so that your logo cover up the entire screen. Now press T, to open opacity, change its value to 0%, and add a keyframe on it. Go to around 1 second, and change the value to 100%. Now, press U to open keyframes, select all keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. My animation speed looks slow to me, so let's increase the speed. Press and hold ALT key on your keyboard, and drag it to the left. One second is enough for now. Looks good to me. Now select the scale keyframe, open the graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the timer line. Select both keyframes, and drag them right, to something like this. Ram preview this, and see if you are happy with the animation. You can always increase or decrease the playback timing by adjusting these markers. You can also press N, to set the end mark. Our first step is complete, let's move to the next step. Create a new solid, and let's call it glitch. You can make it any color you want. Now the important part. Right click on your glitch layer, and pre-compose it. Let's call it glitch comp. Make sure to select there. Move all attributions into the new composition. Now open this glitch comp, and select the glitch layer. Go to the effects and presets, and search for fractal noise. Double click to apply it on the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change noise type to block to get some blocky look now change contrast to 200 and change brightness to minus 20 open this transform options and uncheck this uniform scaling option now change the scale width to 3000 and also increase the scale height to 750 Let's increase the scale width to 4000. Perfect. Now we are going to add a script to this evolution. Press and hold ALT key on your keyboard, and click on it. In the script area, type, time, star, 3000. Here you will see this glitch looking animation. Cool. Switch back to the main composition and pre-compose this logo layer as well. We will call it Logo Comp. Make sure to select the Move All attribution into the new composition. Now, we are going to apply this glitch effect on our logo. Let's hide this glitch comp, because we don't actually need to see it. 
create a new adjustment layer, and let's call it glitch effect. Make sure to place this layer, above the logo layer, else the glitch won't work. Now go to the effects and presets, and search for the displacement map. Apply this onto the glitch effect layer. In the effect control, change displacement map layer to glitch comp. Now, change max horizontal displace to 173, and max vertical displace to 96. Perfect, this looks good to me. If you play your animation, you can see it is animating all the way, that looks so weird. So, press Ctrl, Shift, D, to split and duplicate the layer, and keep a small portion of it. I am keeping it 5 to 6 frames long only. Delete the top and bottom glitch effect layer, and now we have the trimmed part of our effect. Let's make a duplicate of it. Press Ctrl plus D, to make a duplicate, and zoom into your timeline, by pressing the plus key. Place this layer after few frames. And change the settings to make it look dynamic, you can change the glitch value anything you want. Perfect, let's make another copy of it, and place it after few seconds. I am placing them randomly, you are free to set them wherever you want. Let's change its value also. Perfect, this looks good to me. You can always trim the playback timing by pressing the N key on your keyboard, zoom out a little bit, and RAM preview this. Cool. Let's adjust the placement of the glitches, so they will look more natural. Perfect, this looks good to me. Now let's add some distortion look to our animation, create a new adjustment layer, and let's call it bad signals. Now go to the effects and presets, and search for the bad TV2. Apply this effect on your layer, and adjust few settings. Change the wave width to 2 and change the wave height to 2 also. It will create this nice looking old TV effect. Now, select your logo layer, and make a duplicate of it. Select the bottom logo layer, and rename it, Logo Compraise. Now again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC Cross Blur effect. Apply this on your layer, and then, increase the radius X to 50, and also, change radius Y to 50 also. Change the transfer mode to screen, to make it brighter. In this case, my layer is too bright, so press T to open opacity, and change its value to 40%. I am going to increase the radius value to a higher value, so that the light trail will appear more. And then change the opacity to 25%. Perfect, this looks good to me. Now we are moving to create RGB split effect, you can skip this step, if you don't want to make it complicated. Otherwise, keep following me. Select your logo layer, and make a duplicate of it. Let's call it logo comp red. Make another duplicate of it, and this time, call it Logo Comp Blue. Now we will rename the last layer as Logo Comp Green. Select all three logo layers, and change the blending mode. If you don't see your mode tab here, press F4 to switch between. And then change its mode to screen. Now go to the effects and presets, and search for the fill effect. 
double click on it to apply it on the layers, and it will apply to all layers. Now select the logo comp blue layer, and change the fill color to pure blue color. Do the same with the green layer also, change its fill color to green. And then your logo will turn into white color, as it was before. If you change the position of the top logo layer, you can see this RGB split effect. So, let's animate the position of this layer. Zoom in a little, and go to the starting point of the glitch effect. Press P, to open position, and add a keyframe on it. Go to the middle of the glitch effect, and change the X and Y position just like this. Don't change it too much, else it won't look good. Now for the end part, you can copy and paste the first keyframe so that the position will be same at this point. Cool, let's place the first key frame before one frame of the glitch effect. Select all key frames, and press F9 to easy ease them. Now copy these key frames, and paste it over the position of the second glitch. Do the same with the third glitch also. In case your logo has color, make another copy of it, and place it on the above of all other logo layer. Also, change the blending mode to none, and remove the fill effect. Perfect, our glitch animation is complete. Let's add our text now. Please note, you can download this font from the link in the description. My font size is 31, and tracking is set to 300. Let's place our text to the top, so that the bad signal layer won't affect it. Cool, let's align it to the center. And add an animation to it. Go to the effects and presets, and search for the random fade up. Apply it on the text layer. And then press U to open keyframes. Let's decrease the timing of the animation by bringing the keyframes closer. Also, select both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Ram preview this, and this is our animation looking. Now the final step. Create a new solid layer, and rename it light. Make sure to change the color to black. Now, go to the tools, and select the ellipse tool. Double click on it apply it on the layer. Change the mask type to subtract. And then press F to open feather, and change the value to 1000. Ram preview this, and your animation is ready. Thanks for watching this tutorial, I'll see you on next week. Have a good day.